All right, boys. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at a brand new quarterback that just came out. Steve Young has been very good all year. He had a playoff master card. He had an all Madden card. And now he gets his final card of the year, the ultimate legend. He has 99 speed as well. I did not know that until I just upgraded the card right now. I did not know that he got 99 speed. But if you guys enjoy gameplays like this, I do them on all the brand new cards. Make sure to hit that like and hit that subscribe. I also will be streaming on Twitch after this. I don't know exact time, but we'll be streaming on Twitch today. So make sure to go hit that follow, hit that noti button over there. We're going to be opening up our ultimate legend packs using all these new cards. But other than that, let's get into this gameplay. Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, muffpacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. Looking at Steve Young, like I said, with the team chem, or not the team chem, the Easter strat boost, he is going to get 99 speed, which is insane. That is absolutely insane. He is a lefty. He has slinger three, but we're used to that by now. We've all used Stabler. We've used Young. We've used Vic all year. We're all used to the left right now so steve young is a perfect choice for you i know the one thing that does suck is that he doesn't get the god stack for two ap but as you guys know I, I my normal excuse would be that we only have a couple tokens but now we just have four of them so it's really hard to go downgrade to a quarterback like steve young but i truly feel like with colin johnson and cd lamb your offensive line spending zero ap that you couldn't afford a three guy a three ap guy if you like steve young but like I said, it's probably not the most ideal, but use who you want at the end of the year. You can give up one AP if you already have CD Lamb and all the guys that are saving AP at the end of the day. But this should be a fun one. It's a different card. And I also always tell the guys in my chat, the way you have fun in Madden this late in the year is using new cards. And that's what we're going to do today with Steve Young. Let's go take him into a game. So we officially get into a game. And Steve Young, like I told you guys, one of my favorite cards all year, I would probably put him in my top five, not as like a best card all year, but a card that I've enjoyed. I, I would, there's like a couple cards that just come to mind, like Barry Sanders first card that he got the all madden card steve young is one of them as well but it looks like we're starting on defense here come on man when i i'm not gonna lie to you guys when i see trevor lawrence i send the crib at him usually i'm only gonna send four right here but if he starts dotting us up we're gonna send the crib because i know that release is very very bad in the game so if he like i said we'll give him a couple plays to dot up i don't know why but I, I it's so weird seeing a new quarterback i feel like i always see the same quarterbacks and trevor lawrence it's it's it, although he's free you never see him on anybody's team i feel like even the guys that use free quarterbacks usually use stabler as well and calvin barely gets it in front of my julius peppers come on we were that close one thing i will say about ultimate legends although they don't have double discounts like the golden tickets do that are coming out the one thing that is good about them though is that now they are very cheap and you can go pick up a guy you want like like steve young for under 500k the day he came out we got to be ready, boys. We got to be ready. Our defense has been very bad this game so far, but all it takes is one good play, right? That's all it takes. And let's see. That's what we... I don't know what animation that was. I was diving backwards. Sometimes acrobat. I tell you guys, sometimes it'll hurt you bad or it'll bail you bad. I don't know. That should have been a pick regardless, but it just gave me a cool animation, I guess. I don't know. That was kind of cool. I don't know. How do you guys feel about acro? I only like it on my users or my flats because I feel like it truly does hurt you so much. But enough of that. We have Steve Young on the field back with his finally max card in that lefty, man. I don't know how I feel about Slinger 3 anymore. I kind of am back in love with Slinger 1, but it's always good to change it up and throw a new guy in there like Steve Young. We do have another Niner in the backfield as well in Debo. I've been loving this card. I even just did a video on him, and look at that. You guys, you guys see that playmaker? I'm telling you guys, Debo has been one of the most fun cards I've used all year. And he's free. He is free. I, I practiced it all day on stream yesterday, and that playmaker is getting better and better and more fun to use. And, okay, maybe we shouldn't run with a quarterback. We're just going to waste stamina and get zero yards. The one thing I will say about this playbook, I'm pretty sure this playbook, because I'm in the Steelers playbook, I think it is designed off of Big Ben still being on the team. I hope that Steelers is kind of similar to that next year, but I want more quarterback runs. I know they didn't really run the ball too much with Big Ben, but... Oh, man. I, I mean, He just blitzed the crib right there. That was a terrible sack to take. So he likes what he saw. Good news is, is this is probably my favorite defense to play against is Overstorm Brave. I think it's f kind of easy. I wouldn't say it's the easiest defense to play against, but when he when you're blitzing everybody, it all depends on the user as well. Let's see. We should be able to fry over here and look at Colin Johnson. Give me a cross. Easy first down, man. I just didn't know he was blitzing last time. He throws me off now. I don't know what he... I look. It's obviously man coverage because I can see the alignment, but I don't know if he's blitzing us right here. We'll obviously be able to tell, and I'm not blocking anybody, so he'll probably kill us if he blitzes, but nope, he's not going to, and look who's going to be wide open. Colin Johnson once again, man. Steve Young, I'm telling you. I've, I, like, I've been in love with Slinger 1, but going to Slinger 3 is still fun, and it's still obviously one of the best releases in the game. Let's get into another one. All right, so in game number two, we are playing somebody in their Super Bowl, and... 
Depending how the game goes, we might give it away. We might give it away. I'm feeling real generous. It's June, you know, might as well. But let's see. We got to dominate with Steve Young first. And we, this is my bread and butter play. I know it's really boring when I throw that, but it's, you know, it's my bread and butter warm up and see what they're kind of running play. We all have a bread and butter play, right? Am I the only one that just comes like, that's my, my security blanket. We all have one, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that throws that same play almost every single time on the first play of the game. But first and 10, let's see. We're going to find Colin Johnson. Quick strike over the middle. Let's go, baby. We all know the one thing good about Slinger 3. The one reason, the only reason actually why people use this over Slinger 1 is the deep release. So let's try it out right here. Hopefully we get enough time. He's only been sending four, but we'll see if it even gets open in the first place. We're going to look for this bomb. And it did come out very fast. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's crazy. Yeah, the Slinger 3, that's one thing I missed. That was beautiful. There was literally a guy in our face. CD Lamb went up and agged it. Yeah, that's beautiful. And you know what we're going to do right on after that, boys? We're going to do it. We got to get a quarterback draw with our 99 speed Steve Young, right? He's 99 speed. I know the quarterback draw is not the best play in the world, but he fell in. He fell in. That's all we need from him. Steve Young, baby. Let's go, man. Dominating in both games, even in the Super Bowl. Oh, this is going to be, I think, are we playing a, are, we might be playing a Rams team team. We got Eric Dickerson, Stafford. We got the Rams jerseys on. I don't know. It might be a sleeper Rams team team right now. I have not seen one of those in a long time. And there he goes, man. He's throwing up his Madden 20 impersonation. I feel like Eric Dickerson has been one of the best X-Factor running backs I've played against in a while. He's like one of the ones I truly still do struggle with. And it looks like this guy is an Eric Dickerson main. Okay. That is now two plays in a row. He ran a flat to that side. So we know he likes flats. So we're going to put him on the field just like that, boys. Two hard flats coming from the side. If he throws to Eric Dickerson. The one thing that sucks is we only have one blitz and corner coming in. And yep. Okay. He's targeting us over the middle now. I like this guy's play style. It is kind of nice. And our mid zone KO didn't light up. I had the wrong player in. I just put Joey Porter in. Yeah, that's my fault. That would have been a KO if I had my normal team in. That sucks. That's It's just the one thing that sucks about my team build. I have to, like, always line it on up. But we're playing great defense again. Is he going to throw this across the body? Yes, sir, man. I kind of like this guy. He like He's playing really hectic with Matthew Stafford as well. But we we had to go. We had to go get that backyard post. Almost feels like uh, when you're playing dollar, like, and you're not blitzing that corner, that people can get out the pocket a lot like that, and it looks really fun to do. So I might have to start trying to do that. He's doing it with Stafford too, who I think is under 90 speed, but our D, our that D tackle just shredded. Was that Carl Banks playing D tackle? It's not technically a D tackle, but he is lined up almost as an end right there. Carl Banks just destroyed us. He's very undersized as well for that position. And Colin Johnson. Safety blanket over the middle, baby. You need your tall wide receivers. We're kind of trying to score quickly right now on offense. I feel like we've been playing really good. We're going to go for the bomb on the sideline. Don't know if it'll be open. Worst comes to worst, we could just chuck it up to our guy. That's a risky ball. That's a beautiful ball. That was a beautiful ball. It was risky, especially with Acrobat. I think that was on Randy Moss, too. I don't know which quarter that was, but wow. In hindsight, that was awesome. But during the moment, I'm not going to lie. My heart dropped. That was awesome. I'm not gonna, We'll take the 14-0 lead. Let's see if we get another stop. He has not ran the ball yet. I feel like that would be the best way to keep this offense going is running the ball. He would be able to mix it in a little bit more. But the passing game is still pretty hard to play against with him. I got to be careful of this Eric Dickerson out the backfield. He loves him. He never, he never blocks that running back. He'll always send him out. I don't know what he's doing to get these guys open, but they are wide open. You know what? We have not blitzed this guy yet. Let's give him a good old blitz and watch the one play that we guessed pass and blitz that he is going to run. Watch. Isn't it going to be the play he runs? Nope. He doesn't. Can we get inside? There we go, man. We just needed one blitz. Make him overreact a little bit. And there we go. We do get an interception. Hopefully he doesn't quit. I don't want him to quit. I'm going to score one more time and then we'll probably give this guy the dub. I know some people in my last video were complaining that I gave the guy a dub. I truly don't think it's a big deal. I do it on stream all the time. It's, I mean, it's the end of the year, man. I have, I think I have like around 70 Super Bowls on the year. It's fine if I don't get my, you know what I mean? I don't know. I like to have other people have a good time as well. I mean, we're just here for the Steve Young dots anyways. Hey, we're going for it again. I don't know if he'll recognize it because the last time we motioned this guy over, we did run the bomb. All we need is time in the pocket and we'll be able to throw it. Come on, baby. I want to get a big bomb touchdown. And I think we might be able to do it. That Slinger 3 deep release is literally butter. And like I said, just so I can do it before he does, I'm going to quit. I'm going to spam quit it. Good karma, man. Good karma. You got to have good karma in these videos. Steve Young is a beast, though.
All right, boys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Steve Young, I think he ended with, what, one touchdown in the first video or in the first game, three touchdowns in the last one, four touchdowns. He had over 250 yards. I know that for sure. He, I, he might even had more than 300 yards in that video as well. But I hope you guys truly enjoyed. We'll be using him, using a couple. I'm going to hopefully get Steve Atwater as well. We're going to open packs for those guys on stream. Come check out the Twitch stream, and I hope to see you guys there. Peace out, boys.